One of my favorite experiences from my mission actually doesn't have to do with baptism, although I love baptisms and they're great, and I love everything about my mission. Um, this one was a testimony to me that every person is called to be in a certain place at a certain time for a reason, because it's you. I was in uh, a ward, and we were the first sisters in that ward for a long time, so everyone was really excited. They were partially excited because both my companion and I played the piano, which is a great skill to have. If you're preparing for your mission and you play the piano and you want to start practicing, I would recommend that because you'll probably have to play on your mission. Um, and so one, one Saturday, we went over to the church and the primary was practicing for the primary program. And they asked us if one of us could play the piano for them. And my companion played a little bit better than I did, so usually I let her play, but I just felt this like, I want to play this time. Can I play? And so I was playing for the primary and they were singing just so darling and cute. And then the next day in church, they were going to perform. <clears throat> so I was playing the piano for them in sacrament meeting and they sang a song, they sang a song. And then there was a little break and the primary president got up to give her talk. And as she started speaking, she talked about how the primary was, um, was founded how it came to be, which is part of my genealogy. That's my family history. Um, it was my great, great, great grandma who came up with the idea for the primary, Aurelia Spencer Rogers. So I have grown up reading her diaries and hearing stories about her and knowing that it was, it was my grandma that came up with that idea that started the primary. And she told my grandma's whole story. I mean, I had seen the writings gave her the facts for her talk. And it was one of those really powerful moments where I, years later, on a whole other country, halfway across the globe, was playing in a primary program, participating in something that my ancestor loved so much. And it was a testimony that families are not just forever in the future, but they're forever right now that I was there. And in that moment, I knew that the gospel really is a family work. That's something that my great, great grandma started. I was taking part in right now. Um, and that it wouldn't have been the same for anyone else that I was there. And that day at lunch, when I talked to the primary president, I said, I really love your talk. That was, that's my, that's my relative. That's my ancestor. She said, hermana, I had another talk planned. I wasn't going to give that talk, but I woke up last night and I felt that I needed to change it. And that's why you heard what you heard today. And it was a testimony to me that God knows us and he knows our spirits and our families and he wants us to be where we are. And I loved that. Mm -hmm.